Cirrus Migrate Cloud is a patented solution created to help customers move data from anywhere to anywhere. This includes within on-premises data centers, between data centers, on-premises to clouds, between clouds, between storage tiers or availability zones or regions of clouds with the least impact on production operations. In many cases, the migration and final cutover can be performed with zero downtime. Cirrus Migrate Cloud is block storage array agnostic, giving customers a single tool for all their block data migration requirements. Going forward, we'll use CMC to refer to Cirrus Migrate Cloud. This short video will demonstrate CMC migrating data from an Amazon AWS GP2 disk to an SSD drive in a VM in Oracle Cloud. This migration will be conducted as the data is in use at the source location. During the migration, Cirrus Data's Intelligent Quality of Service, IQOS, will ensure that there's no impact to applications in production. For this migration, a Windows host is using disks from the source storage configured with Multipath. The goal is to migrate to the new storage without any downtime throughout the deployment, migration, and final cutover process. The migration is managed using Cirrus Data's CMC portal in the cloud. The first step is to get the two hosts to register and appear in a project in the CMC portal. So let's take a look at the CMC portal and start to deploy the CMC agents at both Windows hosts. Log into the CMC portal using your account. Here is a list of all the projects you created or those you were invited to by other project administrators. Let's create a new project by clicking on the Create New Project button. Enter a project name, a short description, and click Create Project. Click on the newly created project to open it. Project details and license information are listed here. On the left are items related to this project, such as project overview, migration hosts, H2H connections, migration settings, integrations, and project settings. First, let's click on project settings. You can invite other users to help manage this project, or you can delete the project or leave the project if there is another administrator assigned. Now let's see how we can add the Windows host to the project. Click Hosts. We'll use a Windows VM instance that was already configured and connected to the internet using a public IP address. Since there's no destination volume yet, it'll be auto-allocated later automatically by CMC using the plugin for Oracle OCI. We can also attach an existing disk to an Oracle VM. There are no existing discovered hosts. Click here to get the one-line installation command. Note that the command contains a project ID, which allows this command to be used by all hosts that are supposed to be migrated by this project to register with this project. In this way, we end up with the entire list of all hosts for this project automatically. We already created a Windows 2019 host VM in the Oracle Cloud that will be the target of the migration. Open up a remote desktop to the AWS Windows VM. Paste the copied command and run it in the RDP session. Open a second remote desktop to the Windows 2019 VM in the Oracle Cloud. Paste the same copied command and run it in the RDP session. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute for the registration to complete. There is no user interaction necessary. Now the registration is complete and we should have both hosts listed in our project back at the CMC portal. At the Migration Host window, we now see both the AWS Windows VM as well as the Windows hosts in OCP. To simulate a live workload, let's start Iometer and put some I.O. on this disk. Here the disk is now active with I.O. So now the AWS Windows host has an active workload. We want to now migrate this live and then cut over to the new OCP cloud storage without any downtime. The first step 1 is now complete. The next three steps are to create the H2H connection of the source and destination, define the integration for AWS or OCP, and create the migration session and auto-allocate or use allocated destination LUNs. Optionally, you can set up actions for snapshots. First, we'll define the integration with OCI using the add-on plugin. Click on the Add button beneath Oracle to add the credentials. Enter the name for the migration, enter the OCI credentials, upload your private key, and select as deployment target the OCI VM name. Click Save and Close. A new integration icon appears as enabled. Now we'll connect the two hosts by clicking the H2H connection tab in the CMC web console and create a host-to-host -host connection. So the source AWS Windows host can send compressed and encrypted data to the OCP destination Windows host, which will write to the OCP Cloud VM.
Click on H2H Connections on the left of the CDC portal and click Create New Connection to create the connection. Once connected, either side can send data to the other. We'll use the AWS VM host agent as a source and the Oracle OCP VM host agent as the connection destination. Note the source destination and destination host IP address. Here, the destination address is the public IP address of the target Windows host instance in the OCP cloud. Now click Migration Session to open up the Migration Session page. Since there are no migration sessions yet, use the red button to create a new one. Click the New Migration Session button. Select the Windows host and click Continue. Note that CMC supports both local and remote migration. In this case, we'll click Remote Migration. Select the OCP Windows host as the destination VM. Select the option to migrate data volumes only and click Continue. The entire list of all iSCSI drives is listed for the AWS Cloud VM. We'll select the AWS device to be migrated to Oracle OCP, which in this case is disk D. We'll migrate the 1 gig SSD disk in the AWS VM to an SSD disk in the Oracle OCP VM. Next, we'll prepare the destination host to allocate a new disk that will be the target of the migration. We'll allocate the target volume for the DM0 source disk. Click on Allocate Volumes button to allocate the target volume. Wait until the allocation of the disk completes and the new volume appears in the Oracle Cloud VM. Once all the remediation steps have been completed, a new disk with the size we selected appears in the RDP terminal at the OCP VM. Open the Computer Manager and we'll see the new disk here. Click Continue. Now we're going to create the migration session by entering some information. The first step is to select the migration parameters, enter a short description of the migration, select the option to enable auto resync and the periodic sync interval, and the impact level or IQOS. IQOS is Sierra's intelligent quality of service. It automatically throttles back the migration when the source volume becomes more active and opens it up when the source volume is less active. Now we'll select the appropriate IQOS level for this migration. We can choose from minimum impact, moderate impact, aggressive, or relentless. For this migration, we'll pick aggressive. Optionally, CMC can define pre-snapshot, snapshot, and post-snapshot actions. Every time a periodic resync is complete, these actions are triggered, allowing for a fully consistent snapshot to be taken using the snapshot capability of the destination storage. This allows the destination disk to be tested by the real application or database prior to cutover. We're going to skip this for now. Click Create Session to start the migration. Here's the dashboard to let you know how the migration is going. It shows the source disk volume migrating to the destination disk in the Oracle OCP VM. We can observe the migration progress and host details. We can see changes, migration rate, and the remaining data to synchronize. The migration session is created and is started. After the initial sync is complete, at the resync interval, CMC will perform a resync. So now the newly created destination managed disk is discovered automatically in OCP and is automatically paired with the source disk. Monitor the migration session screen. When the status becomes tracking changes, the initial copy is complete, and we can proceed to the next step, which is CMotion. The CMC CMotion feature performs a storage level cutover from a source cloud disk to a destination cloud disk without downtime to the cloud VM hosts. CMotion is used to swing the workload over from the original AWS cloud VM to the new destination BSD in the Oracle OCP VM. In this stage, the next step is to perform CMotion where the workload can be swung over to the destination storage. This makes it possible to perform a test cutover using CMotion, observe the performance and other capabilities of the new storage to confirm everything's working, and if additional adjustments need to be made offline, you can then swing the workload back to the source while the new storage is being reconfigured. Or you can revert CMotion back to the source and then CMotion back to the destination. Monitor the migration session screen. When the status becomes tracking changes, the initial copy is complete, and we can proceed to the next step, CMotion. We know an iometer application is running that's writing I.O. to the AWS disk. To see the dirty or change blocks during the migration process, we can click on the View Change Data Map icon. Observe that the dirty blocks are being tracked and shown here as blue dots. We can also click on the IQOS button and see the I.O.s are written now to the production disk in the Oracle Windows Cloud VM. Synchronization is now at 100% and the session is in the tracking changes state. In this state, migration is paused and a dirty map is maintained to track the block level changes. When it's time to cut over, the next step will be to trigger CMotion, 
causing the workload I.O. to be swung over to the destination storage. Click Session Actions and select Trigger C-Motion, then wait until the status changes to C-Motion. We know an application is running, writing I.O. to the disk. The I.O. is redirected to the destination OCP VM. There is no I.O. being written to the source disk. We're now ready to complete the migration and finalize cutover. The action to finalize cutover is used to ensure that the source disk and destination disk are set up so that when there's a planned or unplanned reboot in the future, the destination disk will be the one mounted for production. To finalize the cutover, the user is prompted to bring the source host application offline and then bring the source disk offline. Once that's detected, the user is reminded to bring the destination target disk online and then bring online the application for production. This will then complete the migration process. Now we're ready to finalize the migration. Click Session Actions and select Finalize Cutover. Observe that the status changed to Cutover CMotion and the final cutover is complete. Opening up Disk Manager at the target Oracle VM, the active volume is still Disk 1 even though CMotion is redirecting the I.O. to Disk D which is shown as offline here. So let's bring Disk D online and the source Disk D offline. Now the cutover is complete. At this state, the volume is still accessible by redirection to the destination disk. The source and destination disks are configured so that upon the next reboot, whenever that is, the active volume will be the new destination disk. The migration project is complete at this stage, without any downtime and a small delay between bringing the source offline and bringing the destination device online. For the case of remote migration where there's a new host at the cloud that's pre-configured to run the migrated workload, CMotion effectively eliminates this final synchronization. This completes the demonstration of online migration using Cirrus Migrate Cloud end-to-end -end from deployment to migration to final cutover and with only a brief transitional outage needed to shut down the source application and immediately start the destination application. This patented solution is key for everyone moving to Oracle Cloud.